and welcome back to my channel my name is Holly and I have a sewing and fashion channel and for today's video I thought it'd be really fun to share what's new in my me made summer wardrobe so I'm just going to run through the things that I've sewn recently and that I'll be wearing through summer um, I'll be sharing all where I got the fabrics from because I bought them recently so hopefully they'll still be available and if I've used a sewing pattern I will share that below. All the information will be down um, in a description bar and it would say if it was gifted or not gifted and affiliate links. So yeah, so let's get started with my recent make that I made. I only finished this maybe a couple of days ago so first time I'm filming it with it. And this is a full length maxi dress. Um, the fabric is from um, Fabrics Galore um, and it's currently on the website. It's this lovely um, floral um, linen and viscose mix fabric. Um, and it's really lovely. I really enjoyed working with it. It's really lovely. Um, yes, yeah, so I've made the sort of like a gathered top round here and then into a maxi dress and it's got some slits up the side i probably will be doing a full video probably about this dress so if i haven't posted it yet it will be coming very soon so this is my first summer make which i'm really excited to start wearing because in um in a couple of weeks maybe three or four weeks by now um i'm going on holiday to cornwall and hopefully the weather will be really nice and i can wear all my summer dresses on the beach. I think we're away for like eight days in like a luxury spa, which will be just amazing. So yeah, so hopefully I can wear this on my holidays. So this is the first dress. I'll just show you quickly the back. It does up by a little bow here. And I just made a little waist tie for the option of show like cinching in the waist. So this is my first make. Right, so moving on to my second make, that's in my me made wardrobe. And this is a recent make, I made this in May, um, very recently, and it is the Sew Over It Heidi Wrap Dress Pattern in the maxi version. It goes sort of to my ankles to the floor with the extra ruffle on the bottom. Um, yeah, I worked with Sew Over It for this project, so yeah. Um, and I used their lovely viscose floral fabric um, to make this make. I'm not sure this is sold out currently. I don't know if it's going to be back in stock, but I can leave a link to a similar fabric because they have quite a few floral viscose fabrics that work really well with their patterns. So yes, this is um, my second dress in my collection. Um, I was really happy how this came out. Um, again, this can be kind of dressed up, dressed down for the summer, I think with sliders or like old heels and a nice bag will look really lovely. Yeah, so even though it's got long sleeves, because the viscose fabric is so light, um, it works really well. But yeah, so I'll just give you, it does up here the tie detail and then you've got like a little tie detail underneath. I did do a full um, video about this dress as well. So I'll leave that linked below if you want all the details of how to make this dress. So this is my Heidi dress. Okay, for my third outfit that's in my Me Made wardrobe currently is um, this linen top and set co-ord set. Um, in the shops and you know fashion in general at the minute, there's so many co-ord sets and I'm with linen and I'm loving linen, so I thought I'd make my own. Um, this white linen is Fabricland's linen. Um, again, I'll leave it linked below. I work for Fabricland quite a lot and I've made quite a lot out of this fabric, so I know it's good fabric. It's a linen and viscose mix and it's around seven pound a meter. So I'll leave that linked below, as I said. So yeah, so this is just a wrap top. I put my hair up so you can see the outfits and it's getting so hot in England. Yeah, it's about, I think it's 28 today. So yeah, the hair's gone up. So anyway, but you can see the back better. So this is the wrap back with um, just a pair of elasticated shorts. Um, yeah, with a tie detail. 
Um, I did a whole video on how I draped this top on my dress form. So if you're into draping and want to learn how to do that and make going patterns, I've given lots of tips and tricks and stuff. So I'll leave that video linked as well. Um, I also made some trousers, which I've just forgotten, I haven't got out, but um, some linen trousers that can also match with these. But yes, this is like just one of those summer, I do feel a little bit like vintage, you know, like kind of 1950s-esque, which isn't normally my style, but I'm really loving it for this make. <laughs> I don't know if that's kind of, if you can see that, but anyway. But I'm loving, loving this look. I was debating on potentially turning this top section into a dress version. So keeping the tie detail and adding the latter waist, waist, waistband and then adding a skirt to here, we'll see. But anyway, these are my shorts and tops set. Right, so this is one of the last dresses I think I'm gonna share with you, I'll see. But anyway, this is um, another maxi dress. It's the same pattern as this floral maxi dress. I really like this design, so I thought I'd try it in linen. Um, and the look does look different because, you know, this ghost is so much lighter, freer, drapier than linen. So even though it's the same pattern, I think they look really different. So this dress, um, this pattern I did self-draft. Again, I did a whole video about how I self-drafted this pattern with draping and everything, so I'll leave that linked below. Um, for this make, I chose this beautiful sort of purpley pink with um, white paisley print on it. I think you probably can see that there. Um, and it is a 100% viscose fabric, and this is also from Fabricland. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I want to say maybe £4 a metre, something like that. But anyway, I'll leave it linked below if it's still available. I did make this make in about March, so hopefully it's still in stock, this fabric, if anyone's interested. But yeah, this is another lovely, really light and comfortable maxi dress for summer. And viscose is lovely in summer, you know, you're not going to get too hot and sweaty in it, especially in England when it's when it gets hot it gets sweaty but anyway so i'll just share the back again to a tie detail here and i've made a tie that is quite long and you can take it off and then you can have it as a really flowy dress if you want maybe a beach cover up um yes yeah, so this is my fabric land maxi dress for my last make that I want to share with you that's in my summer wardrobe is this matching co-ord set um, of a kimono and some shorts in this lovely, this is 100% silk printed fabric and it's from FC Studios. I bought this fabric, yeah, <laughs> I'm on a hunt for a silk kimono. Well, like to make a silk kimono and when I saw this fabric I thought oh that's perfect it gives like that slight interest and it's got a slight boho vibes that I really like um so let me just bring it a little bit closer so you see it's like a white and black dotted print this is the black on white colorway but they also do a black with white dots so yeah um for this make I used a sewing pattern the kimono pattern I can't remember who it's from I'll leave it linked again below um I it was from my stash years and years and years and years ago when I started sewing so I thought it was easier to use a sewing pattern and make my own when I've got one anyway so yes this is the kimono and I've made matching silk shorts to go with it which is just has elastic waistband and I self-drafted these again I made a whole video of how I made this set so yeah I'll leave that link below uh the top's not me made this is just like a top from Topshop <laughs> to go with it. I was debating on making a little, I've got about half a metre left, and I was debating on making maybe a little top to go with it, but I don't know if that goes into, do I look like I'm in my pyjamas? Not sure. <laughs> but anyway, this is my kimono set. I love a kimono in summer. I love it. I've made a few already. Actually, I haven't got them out. Let me get my kimonos and I'll show you all my kimonos. <laughs> 
Right, first up, I completely forgot I had this in my wardrobe. I made this kimono maybe December, November for the summer and I completely forgot I made it. So this is, I need to find an outfit that goes with this because obviously this does not. Um, yeah, so I made this kimono, it's the same pattern, out of, it was fabric land as well, white lace. Um, and I really liked how the scallop detail um, worked really well on the bottom of the sleeves and you can see the bottom of the kimono yeah I think it's really nice it's really lovely and flowy and a bit of that boho vibe maybe you could wear it with denim shorts and still a black top or white top but I think denim shorts will work really well so yeah this is my lace kimono so that was my me made wardrobe for 2021. Currently I've got a few more makes that um, I've, I'm planning. So I'm sure it'll be added to over the next few weeks or months before I go away on holiday. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and it'd be lovely if you subscribed. Um, I'm also over on Instagram where I share a lot of reels and sewing tips and advice and stuff. And I also have a sewing blog, which I will leave links below as well. And if you liked any of the garments and want to know exactly how they're made, then I've left all the videos around the garments below. But anyway, thanks again for watching and I will see you again soon.